Hey everybody, it's BossDawn2905 and today I'm going to show you how to install the new ice cream sandwich Alpha Zero onto your HP touchpad even though Alpha 0.5 is out so the first thing I want you to do is go ahead and go to the um, link in the description be sure to um, download the file and when you copy and paste the link in your address bar make sure you click on free download there should be a gauge and then below the gauge will say free download go ahead and click that and download the ICS install dot zip so once you have this um, folder here onto your, onto your desktop you want to right click it and click extract all you want to click extract or some computers might say extract to and just make sure you extract it to your desktop and it's 143 megabytes the folder might be a little bit more in when it's uploaded so and there's a folder within a folder so just drag out this folder and just go ahead and click yes and it's just gonna replace that old folder with this folder and when you open it you can have the CM install which is um Cyanogen mod install the Acme installer 2 which is new the ICS cheat sheet dot text and a universal novacom installer dot jar when you open up the CM install you have your G apps ICS and this is the Google apps for the ice cream sandwich ROM and the ROM is right here update CM 9.0 RCO touchpad alpha full of bugs da 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 you want to go back well do not unzip these files even when you put them on your HP touchpad then you have your Acme installer which is going to help you install Android on your HP touchpad you have your ice cream sandwich cheat sheet so before you start you want to be sure to open this up here you have the um, Cyanogen mod forum link I put it up at the top you have your check sheet make sure you have 50 percent battery life on your HP touchpad or more um, you have good USB cable make sure you have a good USB port and do not skip any steps and here you have a command prompt cheat sheet once we get to the part where we have to install um, Android onto your HP touchpad and here you have a Java download link to be able to install the universal Novacom installer and that's the first thing you want to do so you want to install the Universal Novacom installer, so you double click it, and this should pop up. And if it doesn't pop up, that means you do not have Java on your computer, so you need to um, download Java and install it on your computer. And once again, here's the link. And since I already have it installed, I don't need to click install because it will just simply uninstall it off of my computer. And I already have it installed just to save some time. So, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and click on your computer and you want to go into your C drive and if you don't know which one is your C drive um, it has a C usually at the end in between these brackets just like this one you want to double click it you want to double click program files and now you want to scroll down to the palm comma ink folder once you installed the universal nova comma installer dot jar it made the palm comma ink folder so you want to go ahead and double click that and yours might have all of this if you previously installed um, Android on your computer and if you already did install Android on your computer then you do not need to um, and you already know you installed Universal Novacom installer then you don't need to reinstall it but if you've never done it then you must install it so if, if this is your first time um, installing Android on your HP touchpad then you might not have these three folders right here so there might be less folders and what you want to do now is um, drag the Acme installer 2 onto your um, palm coming folder and now we have the Acme installer 2 file in the palm comma ink folder we're just gonna close that 
And now we're gonna, we're gonna plug up our HP touchpad. All right, now that we have our HP touchpad, you wanna plug your USB cable into it. And wait until this pops up at the top. Once this pops up at the top, you wanna click USB drive. And that's the USB drive logo. And now we're going to go back to the computer. Okay, now that we're back on the computer, you should have had the HP touchpad um, pop up. And if it didn't pop up, you could just go to your computer. And it should be in um, devices. Go ahead and click on it. This is the root. You don't have, once again, you don't have to delete the folders. And I'm just going to open up the ICS install and drag and drop the CM install onto the HP touchpad. And once again, I did not unzip the files in there. Do not unzip them. Leave them how they are. Now you could just close that and go ahead and unmount the um, eject webOS device. So I'm ejecting my HP touchpad. Now that we put the CM install folder onto the HP touchpad, you want to hit the menu key. You want to hit settings up top. You want to hit device info. And here I have 100% battery life. Um, my current version is HP WebOS 3.0.4. I'm not going to update it. But what you want to do now is go ahead and hit reset options. And you want to hit restart up top. And as soon as you hit restart, once the orb in the middle comes up, you want to hold the up volume key. I'm holding up the up volume key. and you will be in webOS recovery which looks like this and what you want to do now is plug it into the computer plug in your USB cable okay now that we're back on the computer what you want to do is open up your ICS cheat sheet and what we're going to use now is the command prompt cheat sheet and for those of you who have never used command prompt this is going to help you a lot because this is the code you need to be able to install Android on your HP touchpad. So now what you want to do is click on start. And if you have Windows 7, you want to go ahead and type command. And command prompt should pop up and you could go ahead and click on it. If you don't have Windows 7, you could go ahead and just click the start button. Just click on all programs. Click on accessories. And command prompt should be at the top. Now what you want to do is copy your first line of code from your, sh your cheat sheet and you want to copy from the first letter to the last letter or symbol. Copy. Paste. I'm going to hit enter. You want to copy the second line of code. Copy. Paste. Hit enter. I'm going to copy the third line of code. Copy. Paste enter and now I'm gonna copy the fourth line of code paste and once I hit enter your HP touchpad should start running code like mine's is right now and you should have two penguins at the top and this is gonna take a while so um, just let it do what it has to do and just wait and be patient. There it is, guys. After a while of loading, I finally got to the Wi-Fi screen. And now, next. 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 Finish. And... 
just for proof that this is ice cream sandwich on the HP touchpad. You can look at the menu. Okay. Settings. About tablet. And Android version 4.0.3. And another thing, I forgot to put the um mobile zero point three point five on this um HP touchpad. So I'm just gonna put it in the um in the folder that you're gonna download and everything should be fine. Um you just do it the regular way. It'll be in the CM installer um folder. Just uh install it the same way that I did it in the video. So this is Boss Down twenty nine nine five. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe if you have any questions. Be sure to ask me, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, Boss Down twenty nine nine five out.